right, let's see if this is enough lighting. Boom, there we go. Welcome back to Stranger Palooza. I'm Hank Strange. And you know what? Uh, I want to do this vlog style today. We're going to go vlog style. I'm actually at the 2021 Ocala RV show. And uh, we're, we're going to have a little conversation with you guys about a few things. I'm thinking, you know rules for new class B RVers or etiquette or however you want to put it we could do that maybe some tips and tricks we'll run around the show take a look at some stuff um, I'm obviously the owner of a 2021 Coachman Beyond and we're here with the Coachman Beyond group on Facebook so we'll give you guys a look at those folks as well maybe we'll see some rigs you know might have some special celebrity appearances all of that kind of stuff. Let's get into it right now. Alright, so that is a look out the window right there. That's actually our uh, 2020 Tesla Model Y. There's a Coachman Beyond right there. Uh, let's see. Well, that's not a, that's obviously not a Beyond. That is a Ford Transit over there. There's uh, there's tons of Coachman Beyonds here. I mean, uh, you know, literally tons, but not not like thousands of them or anything like that. I think there's maybe five or six or seven. Some people are coming and going. So we'll get outside and we'll show that. Right now I'm inside, and what am I doing? Uh, just woke up. I'm here. Usually what I do, I'm here editing. So this is a video that's going to be going up soon. So I'm working on that video. Lola's over here. Can, can I show you, Lola? Oh, look at that. Lola's actually letting me show her. I don't know if you guys could even see her. So she's sleeping over there because, if you guys don't realize it, the, um, the Beyond has like twin, twin beds here, kind of. So it's like Ricky and Lucy. Ricky and Lucy. Uh, except Lola is more like Ricky and I'm more like Lucy. In terms of, you know, like, I'm more Americanized and all that kind of stuff. And say words properly. No, I don't know. No, we're both bad. Anyway, so Lola's sleeping over there. We got to get that all sorted. But, uh, and it's kind of crazy in the van if I show you guys right now. It looks like, ooh, yeah, it looks crazy in there. This is the real, yo. We keep it real. For example, right there. That's my, my, when I do the podcast... That's the camera that I used to do the podcast. It's hanging up there on some suction cups. These are Joby's. That's a light right there that I'm using. Can't, I don't want to mess you guys up too much, but I'm using that light. Here's a microphone that we use in the podcast. Just uh, hooked up right here to the cabinet tree hardware. You know, that's how we roll around here. Let's see if we can get a little look at the light there. There we go. So, yeah, I'm editing this video. Um... So a couple of things, as I said, we're going to talk about a couple of things. So yes, Lola, Lola drove the Tesla out here. I've actually been out here, what is it? It's Saturday, I think. This is Saturday. It's going to be a little drizzly, a little rainy today. But so we came out on Thursday morning and I drove the, I drove the Beyond out here. As I said before, we have a 2021 Coachman Beyond rear bath. That's what's back here. And it's built on a 2020 Ford Transit chassis. I drove it out here. Lola followed me in the Model Y because she had to go to work Friday. So we spent the night here and then she went to work Friday and then she came back here. And now it's Saturday and we spent the night here. So just so you guys will notice, Lola is actually, you're hooked up out there charging up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Lola... <laughs> I'm not hooked up to anything charging, to be honest with you. I did take the um, the Jackery battery pack that we have out there and charge it up. But uh, yeah, Lola's hooked up out there. She's charging up the, the Tesla. And then that Beyond is also hooked up. Let's see if I can zoom in. So there's the hookup that's right here. Uh, these folks right next to us even have water hooked up. Uh, we might have some water lines out there too. I didn't really look into all that. But that Beyond is hooked up and they're charging. Lola, so on, on uh, Thursday, she did, this, she did the same thing. She charged up out there and drove from here back to Gainesville to go to work and then came back um, last night and met us out here. And I was making videos and doing, working very hard as I usually do. Uh, no, not really. But anyway, so that happened. 
Uh, we hung out with everyone here. I hung out. The, the Coachman Beyond group guys are really cool. I'll try to get some video, roll in some video with those guys. Um, if you're into Class B RVs, you probably know Campin Coasty. He's here. Awesome dude. He's here with his wife, Deb, and their dog, Spike. They are amazing people. Spike is a fantastic dog. He's real fast. Yeah. They got to keep him on a leash because, you know, he's like a racehorse. And then I think he's seeing, you know, horses around here. So he's getting into full horse mode. But hopefully we'll, we'll get to sit down and talk to those guys. My plan is to actually have a conversation with him about pointers, tips, etiquette, rules of etiquette for uh, new Class B RV guys like myself. So, you know, maybe we'll have that conversation and I'll roll that into this video as well as we will go into the RV show today. There's not a lot of, there's not lots of um, Class B's out here. Sunshine State RV is here at the show. They're obviously local to Gainesville. Ocala is about an hour or so away from Gainesville. And, um, you know, so they're here and they have the most Class B RVs here. And maybe I'll just take, you know, we'll go through their booth and, and um, take you guys on a little tour there. We've been throwing up videos. So General RV of Ocala is really not far from here. Maybe like five minutes away at the most from here. So those guys are also here and they have a couple of Class Bs. We'll go through that as well. And maybe, you know, since we've got the owners group and I'll walk through, I could show a couple of different floor plans if people allow me to do that. So we have the rare bath floor pan. So it's, I liked it because it's a big shower, a wet bath and everything here. And then even though we have these bunk beds, which we're working on um, to put them together when it's Lola and myself, um, you know, I feel like there's more space here for everything that I do within the confines. A class B is built within the confines of the van. So class C's, and I'll do a video on the difference between class B, B plus, and a C. There's really no such thing as a B plus. There's just B and C. So a class B built within the confines of a van. So on the outside of this, it looks like a Ford Transit van. No modifications on the outside, really. It's some, some slight stuff. Um, and then a class C is where they take just the chassis, um, the rolling chassis of the same kind of van or similar uh, vans or work trucks and then they build a custom box that goes on top of it so those are typically easier for them to build um, and more affordable these class B's wind up being a little more expensive because it's more difficult to build within these uh, confines to me I find the class B's are stealthier right easier to drive for sure and the Class C's are also easy to drive, but these are way easier, more stealthy. People, less people realize that you're in an RV. Now, you're not super stealth, not hiding anything from anyone. But most people just don't realize. Now, there's some things that I would do, like I've seen in the owner's group, and that guy's not here, where he tinted the windows on the outside, the body color, to match the body color. So, um, basically, that kind of tint has some tiny holes in it so from the outside you can't see in but from the inside you can see out so i might do some stuff like that and make it even a little bit more stealthy gray man kind of kind of situation but anyway so i'll run around and i will show other people's rigs if they allow us to do that we'll run around the show we can definitely show you guys if not here at the show there's there's a um there's quite a few coachman beyonds that are at the show and some other uh vehicles in the class b category uh, we're doing some individual videos on things as well and we'll sit down we'll talk to folks and um maybe i'll even give you a tour of our rig we'll start there how about that so when i come back here i'm gonna finish editing uh i've woken up lola so now she's, she's not gonna be in a good mood so i'm gonna have to deal with that you need to uh make me breakfast woman okay then yeah that's basically no. All right, so we're gonna get into more of this stuff right now. Stay there. All right, so check it out here. Lola's doing her makeup. We're uh, out of the beds. So now the beds work as closets or storage, as you guys can see. So like, I've got an equipment crate. Actually, I have a couple of these collapsible crates. So these 
claps down flat if you're not using them, but I find it's cool to like throw stuff in there and organize it and then you can just pick all that stuff up at one time and move it around. And since we're not using the bathroom shower stall here, it's acting as storage. You know, um, even I'm going to figure out a way to even put some storage over here where the toilet seat is. So when I'm not using all of that storage, obviously, right? So that's what's going on here. I got my sleep machine, which I didn't run the generator or anything for my sleep machine. I actually used the Jackery right there. So this is the Jackery. We were using that last night and I will turn the display on. And what is it? We're at like 38% on the battery. So that was like running my computer and charging up phones and running the sleep machine and all that. You know, it, uh, it works pretty good, I think, and it still has some charge left to it. We've still got the sun shades up because it will be parked here. As I said, our plan is we're going to go to the show today and walk around, do a couple of things. We're about to go outside and hang out with everyone out there. But, you know, we're just, we're getting, getting set up. If you can see, it's a small space that you're in. You know, it's kind of like being on a boat or a plane. Lola, yeah. Lola wants me to move out of the way. No, you're but, good. you know, it works. <laughs> It works, and then typically what I do is I put the fan on, I've got the bathroom, uh, vent is open, but the fan's not on in there, you know, and uh, yeah, Lola was using her phone as a mirror, we gotta get a mirror. Yeah, because that so. mirror in there is way too tall, I've gotta stand on my tippy toes to use it, it just doesn't work, so yeah. we gotta get one of those mirrors that pulls up from the bottom. Yeah, you know? and then a friend gave her a bunch of eggs. These are fresh farm eggs so. that I got last night. She doesn't so. feel like making breakfast. No, so I'm actually going to give it to someone else here to make yeah. breakfast with. They're good eggs, though. No, they're awesome. They're yeah. awesome. So we'll be outside here in a second, and we'll see you guys outside as soon as we do this. So I brought my boots. And what I'm going to do is open the door. This is a whole system. Open the door. I'm going to take my boots, like this, and then put the boots down here, somewhere, somehow, one like that, one like that, and then I'm going to sit down here and put my boots on, one at a time, just like every other normal being out there. Do you need help? So I'm going to... What's going on over here? Here, you can shoot the video if you want. What is happening over here? So I'm just putting my boots on. Okay, so you don't try and dirt back in here. Yeah. It was raining, but it didn't get muddy out here. I'm glad about it's gonna that. It's going to rain on and off today. So, probably need some lotion. My Your hands? My hands look like Ashy Larry. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Don't embarrass me going out there. I will hand you some lotion, sir. Okay. All right. All right, here's that bag. So I gotta put this one on, which I'll put on with the magic of the YouTubes. Bam! Boots on. That's amazing. Okay, so I don't know if Lola's coming out or not. Not yet. I've gotta get some work done before I come out. But here we go. So this is our van on the outside here. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Boom! So that's our beyond right there. Um, and obviously that's the Tesla Model Y that I showed you guys earlier. Which looks filthy. Poor thing needs a good wash. <laughs> oh yeah, it is pretty dirty. Um, and then I'm not sure who's Beyond this is, but we've got some folks right here with the Beyond as well. Awesome. And let's see. Then, if we go this way over here, we got a couple more Beyonds. So I'm gonna do a little spin around right now and show you guys all the beyonds out here. I mean, what else would I do? <laughs> I think I need to put a I think I need to put a jacket on. Let me tell Lola. This is this is how I do it. I need a jacket, woman. Oh, it's cold? Yes, it's cold. Sorry, babe. This one? See that? See how that works? <laughs> and I got a um I'm almost pants on the ground here. I got a buckle. I got a... Oh my gosh, you're just embarrassing <sighs> me. You are just embarrassing me. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm up. official. I'm official now. 
Maybe I'll track together. I'll zip this up, baby. Zip it up. Let's see. I put my sunglasses on. Wait, there's this no is. Sun, there's no sun out. Ah, oh, that's official right yeah. there. There's no okay, sun. Okay, come out. on. Let's go. Walk out to these beyonds. I don't know what it is or whatever, but you know, they're all beyond. So, beyond. There you go. Another beyond. This one belongs to Coastal Coasty. There you go. Telltale, you know, Coast Guard plates right there. Uh, that's not a beyond. And uh, then, so let's see, let's see, let's count. So we got one, and then there was one behind it, so that's two, three, four, not four, five, there we go, six, seven, eight. We got about eight of them out here, which is awesome. Some of, the, some of these guys are hooked up to shore power right here. This is like a dark gray. I think this one here is brown. They were going through right here. Hooked up to the powers. Get the powers going. I think this is the one that's the special color that you have to like custom order in order to get this one. There you go, very nice. So there you go. And these guys, these guys have electric bikes on here, which are really cool. Right there, I like those electric bikes. So there you go, we got about eight Beyonds out here for the uh, Coachman Beyond group on Facebook. If you guys are on the group, shout out to you if you'd like to get on the group. You know, um, just go to Facebook and put in the request. You know, and you can ask questions. I don't think you have to have a Beyond, but if you're interested in getting one and you want to ask owners and stuff like that, great place to go. Of course, you can go to Stranger Palooza, look at my videos. Coastal Coasty has a bunch of cool videos. You could do all that kind of stuff. So, um, I'm going to I'm gonna go visit with the peoples over here in a second. All the peoples. I don't want to interrupt them. They're, they're talking, though. But there you go. Little, little mini, quick mini tour. Maybe we'll, we'll get some... Uh, someone to show them. Actually, you know what? I can show you guys my rig. We haven't really done anything on the outside at all. I did upgrade and put these bungees in here <laughs> to hold this stuff together, but no, I haven't really done anything. Let's open the door here, boom. So, I'm using the, uh, the shades there. It's starting to drizzle out here, Lola. So we've got, you know, cables and things like that back here. Gloves, always important to have. We've got a lantern back here and the charger for it, adapters and things like that. If you open up on this side, that's the uh, fresh water hose in case we need to get some fresh water. Um, from what Coastal Coasty tells me, you can use these also as fresh water. They're safe. Um, but, I, but I have this for the black, as the black, or not really black water, but as my fill-up hose. And I showed you guys the crates before. These are collapsible crates that we got from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. So, and I use a lot of these uh, tie wrap. What are these things called, boo? These like twisty kind of things. Uh, I'll put a link in the, in the video description yeah. for those things. Uh, but they're great, very convenient. You can see I use them in there to hold up my equipment and stuff like that. So that's pretty much how we have it geared out. From this side, I'll close this up since obviously it's drizzling now. Let's go back around here and go in. Okay. Alright, so we're still getting everything set up. I'm going to put some lights on in here. I know, that's probably good enough for you guys to see. So, in here, how do we have it set up? Well, it's pretty much the same uh, basic thing. Lola does have that little stool there so she could, so her little short legs can reach down to the bottom. I am using the Jackery, which I've already shown you guys. We've got the tables packed up back there. Um, this is the smaller fridge in the rear bath beyond, which is fine with me because, you know, this is really my office, so I'm not cooking and all that kind of stuff in here. I do like to have some nice cool drinks and stuff like that arranged. Here's the garbage we're going to throw out here in a second microwave here you've got to turn on the generator to use this which I think yesterday was one of the few times I turned on the generator for about 10 minutes so Lola can use this 
um, you know. And then we've got the beds and everything is set up the way that that they came. Um, we want to figure out how to bridge these so we can have like one big bed. And here again, collapsible crates that we're storing stuff in. So all the bedding and everything, we just have it folded up here right now. Um, I'm using these uh, Joby suction cups, which are really, really, uh, they're really strong on that suction. I mean, that's like good suction. So you can use these for lots of things. I'm using this for my camera, for the podcast, for lights. I was showing you guys earlier. This is the microphone here. And I'm using the twisty ties. So can't easily, I mean, I can still get in here, you know, to, to this cabinet and even that one. But we got a bunch of stuff here in the cabinets. It's mostly equipment for me. We've got black uh, blackout curtains, I think, are in that bag. There's a flashlight here. The emergency flashlight. Uh, and a safe to lock up stuff if we need to do that. that first cabinet is like all the first aid stuff. First aid, okay. Yeah, this is like first aid and, and uh, medical stuff or whatever in here. This is snacks, very important. So a growing boy to have your snacks. Uh, what is in here? Hats and stuff like that I keep in here. I think we got these felt things from Ikea. I know Amazon has them also. This is the uh, this is for the uh, entertainment system. So there you go. I mean, we're, we're really not like super, um, this is still pretty much how it came. We haven't done a yeah, lot of things yet. It's a yet. work in progress for sure. I did visit some other RVs that are really like lived in with mm -hmm. their curtains, even their blackout curtains they're using, the one side is blackout, the other side is like some kind of pattern and material. Mm -hmm. They really looks nice. I mean, there's some lived in RVs that really look, you know, very cozy. Yeah. We, we've got to get there. <laughs> yeah, people have some really nice setups. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think this, this fan is making some noise because it probably wants to close down. It's drizzling outside. At some point, that rain sensor will kick on and close it down. So, um, yeah, that's it for now. I'll be back with more in a sec. Okay, so there we go. Like I said, lots of beyonds. Ours is behind us. There's a couple behind us. There's that, that, and that. But we're gonna we're gonna walk into the show. Lala and I. It's raining and everything. We're gonna walk into the show and uh, see what's up there. Because it's raining, I, I don't really want to. You know, everyone's in their in their vans. I don't want to go disturb people. And you know, you're comfortable in your van and all that. You know. Wanna, sh you know, show it off to people. So, you got to look at my van. We'll go down here and we'll look at some vans. And what I'll do, maybe I'll give you guys some pointers from a newbie. <laughs> <laughs> what little so, bit we know so far. <laughs> yeah, the little that I know, I will show you guys coming up right now. We're in the show. All right, so there's really that I know of here just two people that have, or two companies that have the uh, Class B's. So there's General RB, right there. Bam, so they've got a couple. We got one, two, three, oh, I see Becky. We might be able to get Becky to actually show us some stuff here, if she's not busy. I don't know if she's, are you busy? She's busy, yeah. So. But I'll come see you. Absolutely. Okay. We'll be here looking at these anyway. Sounds good. So let's see. So there is a sequence here. Um, an Integra. Ethos. Yeah, Integra Ethos. I'll tell you. So Thor sequence, Integra Ethos, Winnebago Solus, and the new Thor scope. And we actually just brought it today. Yeah. Well, so they brought it in last night. Oh, that there came in last night. Yeah, yeah I was the silver one at the end. I was actually quite surprised because I didn't know. Awesome. I'm like, we have four vans. So yes, we have four yeah. vans today. So, so yeah, yeah, we're gonna go look, you take do a look thing, at those yeah. and then we'll come yeah. back. Yeah, and open up the back doors. It was just raining, so we had them all closed oh, up. Okay, but awesome. You can open up anyway. Start with this one. I'll just chat with these people. So yeah. this is the Ethos here, and I'll just. Uh, so this is a rare bath model. Very nice. A lot like the Beyond that we have, except you know, there's a toilet paper thing right there in the door. How awesome is that? <laughs> uh, ours doesn't have one of those because there's a big wall here. So that's nice. That is nice. And then they do have something to hold the shower. That's uh, that's also pretty uh, cool. We don't have cool. that. That's cool. And then they have these looks like oh, switches okay. for all this stuff, which is also great because one of the things I found is like with the sink. Oh, so there's a whole separate thing in here for this sink, I guess. Oh, that's nice. 
Yeah, because I accidentally hit the button and turn the water on all the time, and then the water pours out and it gets it gets crazy. And then there's a uh, oh, this just looks like a standard. No, it's got it's got. Is a, this it, open? It opens. I think it comes from that side over. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't pull know. the latch. No, but, okay, listen. I don't, yeah, we'll see when we go. But there is there is space yeah. underneath. And then there's account. cabinets here. Tons of cabinets and drawers, just like what we've got over there. Very nice. Um, and then you've got like your your fill station and all that kind of stuff here. Water pump, you can get power outside. You can plug in all of that kind of stuff's right there, which is cool. Um, and then obviously this this is uh, what is oh this is like a Thule bicycle rack on there, which is nice. There's an awning. Which is still functioning and a little bit of drizzle here, power outlet. And uh, so show price here is $89,995. The Ethos 20T for anyone who wants to see that here. Um, you want to go in? Oh, someone's in there? There's some folks in there right, right now. So, so we can, we can hang on. And obviously, the Integra here is built on the ProMaster, uh, the Ram ProMaster chassis. And what I learned yesterday front wheel drive. These are actually front wheel drive. Why, why are they front wheel drive? Is that better than rear wheel drive? Um, it depends. I think front wheel drive is a little bit better to get you out of situations, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. uh, rear wheel drive is better for speed and stuff like that, like pushing and all that. Oh, but like in can, a muscle car. Yeah, you can get stuck easier with that with your rear wheels digging you in where like the front wheel could... The best thing is all wheel drive, Lola. That's what you gotta <laughs> worry about. That's the best thing. So... Um, so I, there I you like, go. I like, nice um, I like the driver's seats, you know, the driver's seats in here. Yeah, those, a little, from what we can see outside here, they, they look awesome. Yeah, they you know look a little. They swivel? Yeah, they, they probably, probably do. do. They all. Thinking, they but so, they here, swivel. Let all me. Right, so, swivel. this is a good opportunity to what a lot of people don't realize. Here, Lola, you can run the camera on this. What a lot of people don't realize, so like spinning the chairs, and I don't know how this one particularly works. Let me see. So, this. So, there's a. Uh, that's how it goes up. A table here. Oh. So they must swivel for the table. Yeah, it does. I'm trying to see there's if there's some buttons a, on the side. You want to get there's a one? latch for swivel. Oh, that's oh, to flip that's it up. The... Oh, that yeah. goes really. Okay, this is cool. I, I I don't know anything about these, so I'm just messing around with it. <laughs> to um, see if it's intuitive. The the swivel. <laughs> as long as you don't eject, right? That's right. Oh, well, I'm guessing if you're sitting on it, it's pretty good. Yeah. So let's see, there has to be a latch here to swivel. Yeah, I'm going to come in here and look, at her, and look at her from the back. Side. Oh, I found it. Okay. You found it? Yeah. Okay, okay. so. All right. swivel, sir. So, the swivel. This is up and down. Back and forth. There you go. So now, one of the things I wanted to tell people about swiveling that you never see in the videos, if you have the door closed, you can't it will swivel. Not. makes it difficult. So you have to, like in the videos, they don't ever show you that you have to open the door, but you do. And then you probably have to open the door at night when you decide you want to swivel it. So you might want to do it what when you're getting set up. Oh. You swivel, and then you just turn it around. You open the door so nothing bangs into the what door. Did you press the swivel? So here, on this one, and I don't know anything about these, but there is a yellow right under oh. this flap. On the other side, a there's, yellow lever. there's a yellow lever that you lift up, and then it allows you to swivel. Oh. But these okay. seats are really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. they're nice. Um, they're nice. I it's like, like these seats. Nice I like, I yeah, I like the covering in it, the diamond stitch pattern, and the fact that it jacked up a little bit like that was cool. Mm -hmm. well, oh, look at go. go. Yeah, that's. You're enjoying that. Yeah, that was kind of cool. <laughs> I'm not sure what this other one does. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> oh, now you're rocking. <laughs> Going for a bull ride. <laughs> okay. Stop. Yeah. And then the other lever here. Goes it's back a, and forth, but I'm not sure. There's found probably it. a lever right there under the under. I did find it, but it's curtain? not. It's under the curtain. I think it's under the curtain. Yeah, it's under that. It is, but it's not doing nothing. Oh, oh let me um. Yeah, let me see if I can help you. Yeah. All right, let him let, let him, him come, come have over. a look and see. Let him play with it. Yeah. So let's take a look. I found the lever. Maybe I don't yeah. have. Maybe so, I can't be in it when it does it. So you probably, one, have to move this more oh, forward. Oh, okay. That's the thing. And then the lever, you flip it up, oh. and there you go. Oh, cool beans. So it goes, let's see, it goes that way. Now, you're going to probably want to come back a little bit. There you go. And then flip. 
You think it will slide though? Mm -hmm. There we go. You just want to clear that door. But the, the problem's always going to be like, you know, how far back you are. There we go. That kind of stuff, the steering wheel. <laughs> Gets in the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the driver's one never, like, you get a full clearance of. And I some agree. of them you could probably do it, but with this cabinet here, right, and with the steering wheel and stuff like that, that's where you would run. That's in. as far as you can swivel it. Uh, no, it could I probably think, go it, more. I it think could so probably too. go more. I bet the the seat has to go back more. Yeah, you've got to really has get to go this. Forward. Yeah. yeah, you really have to get the seat to the right position. So it's kind of one of those. Uh, these are nice seats. It's just these one of those things nice you need seats. to figure out how it works, and then. Uh, Boy, this is deep. Coming back inside. Yeah, I'm coming oh, in. This okay. yellow button, right? It's yeah, it's that yellow. Yep. The yellow yeah. flap. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. That's um, broken. Yeah, I'm sure they'll they'll get that fixed up. I like the layout. I they like the double. I like the. The double bend. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> the window, all the windows and stuff. I'm not too crazy about. But you don't like the windows? A lot of windows. Oh yeah. Well, I think they're trying to bring the outside in. I think so. Yeah, yeah. so when you're in it, you don't feel claustrophobic. But there's a lot of blinds and stuff like that, too, so that you can close down. Are these the, the kind that um, you can't, you can see out, but you can't see in? It should uh, be. Unless there's light in here. <laughs> oh, wait a if it's dark and there's light inside. I'm sorry, you're doing a video. Oh, no, you're fine. Yeah, but these are all tinted. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the shade. Now, do you have one or do you buy one? I have a Beyond. Yeah. Which is one of the, it's the Ford. Uh, it's the Ford, so it's a little oh, longer than this. Okay. Yeah. This yeah. is probably like 19 or 20 feet or something. See, we, uh, got a, we got a truck in there. We got a little too old to climb up on that big. Yeah. Oh, okay. Understood. Yeah. This is some kind of Thor. That's the they new got scope. Here. The scope? This is the new scope. Yeah. So this is, this is new. This actually wasn't here yesterday. So the Thor scope with the pop up on it, which is really nice. Lola is a fan of the pop up. So, uh, you want to come take a look? Yeah, Lola? come in. Let's take a look in here. Be really careful, Lola. It's wet. It's very slippery here. Okay. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. So, obviously, you've got this. You can climb up here. And right here, I'll show you guys. Right here, some USB plugs right there, which is cool. So, let's go up the ladder and take a look. Wow, this is nice. A nice padding right here. It's a lot of room um, up there. That's what I like about it. It's nice extra. tent. I like the skylight that they have on this. And obviously oh, there's nice. windows on the side here. So very nice. You can probably even open this up here and go through if you need to do cleaning and maintenance and stuff like that. So that's really nice. Um, so um, let's see here. So up here, up front, the cockpit looks cool, roomy. I like the uh, like a textured flooring here on the cockpit. I guess this is like a big mat. Yeah, big mat there. Um, then this looks like a Dometic two burner Dometic stove here. Smaller refrigerator, the Nova Cool. A lot probably like what we have. Yeah, I think so. Um, Similar size. Yeah, here's your sink. So um, full faucet on the sink here. What is this? I'm not sure, but some kind of purifier. A yeah. water filtration or something like that. Or is that like the that. AC? That might be the AC right there. You think? There. It's called a, a pellet yeah. house. We'll ask, sure. uh, we'll ask Becky. We'll ask Becky when she comes. Is this, let's see, contour, clean it. So I don't know if this is convection. Hold on, let's see. No, so this looks like it's just a microwave. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's a convection. Nice big storage here. Uh, what is this? Almost like a little step kind of thing. This might be heat down here, I'm assuming. Possibly. And a little, storage. A little storage area here. Cabinets, drawers, pull-out drawers. It's got kind of like a glossy finish on it. Yeah, here, Lola, like I don't a, know if you want to... Like a lacquer finish. Yeah, and this sofa looks like it's convertible. It Wait, would, it would oh. have to be. Yeah. This looks like the sofa that I saw Matt from Matt's RVs got very frustrated when he started so I don't want to try to assemble it I don't want to pull everything out and then it goes crazy we'll let Becky do that since she knows let's see if she could take the mat challenge um, there's power and USB in here and I didn't look outside to see if this is lithium or not I'll tell you guys right now okay uh, is there a detail um, sign 
not that I could see. Okay. So they didn't. So pull hold on. Let me see something here. Okay, the scope is actually on it here. If you come and look, but there's no, there's no. Um, and you could put a. Mo it looks like you put a monitor. There's an arm and everything there. But so scope. See, check that out. Okay. There you go. Scope. But I don't see whether or not this is solar power. Probably they, solar powered. They call that a sky bunk. Yeah. Up there. That's a cool thing. So I'm not sure. And then it looks like you got a bunch of things back here, like outlets and stuff like that. It's a drain outlet. Um, so you can plug your water in here. That kind of stuff is here. The only thing with this kind of stuff is you have to have these doors open to do things. Yeah. Uh, I like this little cubby here. It's got power and a 12 volt and USB there. I think that comes in handy when you I pull. I think all of this pulls pull out and then this thing hooks out. onto this yeah. for the bed, hooks which that's cool. There. Oh, yeah. I see how that goes. Yeah, oh. hooks, hooks probably. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Does it come further? You probably have to do something to bring it further. To bring it all the way out, it looks like. Yeah. This is why I didn't want to get into this. Hold on. Yeah, it's not so yeah. hard once you know what you're doing. Yeah. So, power or not, we'll find out from Becky when we get a chance. And these are all just storage storage yeah. cabinets, I take it, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm assuming there's like solar panels up there. The Skytech. Here's another one, the Skytech. Yeah. And there's, we, I, did we see the price on that one? I don't think so. No, because that's so new, it wasn't marked. This one show price is 109.95. So. This is the Winnebago Solus. Yeah, 59 PX. Okay. So here, let's take a look at this. Looks like you've got some plugins right here. Let me see. Okay. And your fridge is right here. I, I like the flooring. I mean, that's like a shop yeah. floor. Yeah. This is cool. Like a garage floor. And it's, it's got more traction, like yeah. I said, you know. And this also has a pop-up tent. So here, I'm going to go up bed. here on this pop-up tent. Here, pass me the camera, Lola. And I will show the people. So there you go. Those windows are open. Got a mattress here. Very nice. Little vent actually built into the tent there, which is well, cool. Well, because there's no sky roof. Like, yeah, and then you um, have the like outlets had. right there. Okay. All right, so over here you got your fridges here, which is cool. You got like a pull-out table here if you need it. You got your your stove situation going on here. Somehow you flip this up. It's okay, it's getting oh, right, right there. On, so Boom. We'll leave that. Uh, sink. Um, I like the jump seats here. People can travel, and you could probably even use this like for what I do shows and stuff. This is nice seating, so you can seat four in this. This would be the bathroom here, probably, which is locked or something. There's some kind of trick to opening this, which I don't know. Uh, so bathroom back there, we'll find out that from Becky. And then, I really like this. I think this is a good setup here. Do you want me to get, uh, the, get bed a view of it from the outside? Yeah, you can come around this way. By the way, I like I like when you see stuff like this. You can store things up here, and it helps them not fall out. That's great. So, here, come around come this around. way, Lola. So here, there is a... There is a little bit of a step up here because obviously you've got storage and things like that under here, which is cool. So That's you can nifty. store your uh, yeah. like hoses, the power, the power cable, and everything's down there. So that's always nice. Um, and then you still have cabinets here. This is actually pretty deep. It goes. That's the wheel well right there. It is. So that's cool. And it looks like this is probably a tire inflator and all that kind of stuff comes with this. Um, and then there's. This is somehow part of the bed, but you can have it be a sofa here. More cabinet storage stuff going on here. Um, you can, obviously, you really can't sit here, right? But I think the way this works is this bed comes down. Right. It's but like what a I, Murphy bed? Yeah, but what I like is there's a, t there's a table. Okay, so you can open and have a table like that. Once you figure it out. <laughs> But that's cool. Yeah, it's like a little so, workspace. Yeah, so even if I was like taller and I didn't want to stand here and hit the roof, you could still stand here and use this, you know, and use it as a table, like a stand-up desk kind of situation. 
uh, which I think is cool. So let me see. So then that flips down. And, well, this goes back up. Hold on. Okay, get it right. There you go. Boom. All right. So then that locks into that, and it looks like this comes down. Watch yourself. Bam. Okay. And then boom. Now that's cool. Yeah. Once it's laid up, it's like, it's like a queen. Yeah. And or full, maybe full size. Yeah, and you've got a window there. And you can open these windows and stuff. Oh, I like this. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not, yeah, it's, not, it's definitely not a queen. But maybe you can get two people. You can get two people on this bed for sure. Yeah. So I kind of like this. And I you like, still have the space underneath it. Yeah, I like a bed space. like this, Lola. The Murphy. Okay. Yeah. I like that situation going on there with this with this bed. This is nice. And then there's uh, obviously an AC here. Um, I wish I knew how to open the door or if there was storage under these seats, which there might be. That kind of stuff we'll find out. There's definitely plugs and everything here. I think probably um, under the seats is where it says fresh water drain. So I think under the seats is probably... They've got hookups and yeah, stuff like that there. And, stuff and then your, your control panel is right here for anyone who wants to see. Um, I'll try to get... A better look at all of these for you guys. I'm just trying to go through the show and show you guys some cool stuff. And it's like pouring rain. Yeah. Uh oh, look, Becky caught us. I caught uh -oh. you. I'm just gonna shut these doors. Yes. I'm, just, I'm right over here with these people though. So I Don't will worry. come chat okay. with you guys. We'll roll through these fans, I promise you today. Okay. Yeah. Hi guys. No worries. Well, yeah, I'm gonna show it these just because it's pouring rain, but have fun. Turn the lights on. Okay. So check this out. On. So let's see, the lights should be <laughs> easy. Enough. Uh, so this has definitely got the wow. Zantrax solar. What do we do here? Turn this on. Where is the trick to the bathroom here? Yeah, the bathroom was the thing we were trying to get into. There we go. Oh, there's the lights right there. House bed, you gotta turn That's that on. That's convenient, yeah. Yes. So bathroom, how do you get in this bathroom? Pull, pull hard. Pull, okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so can't be afraid to break it. <laughs> there is a latch out there and it does lock. It does lock. But, yeah, it does lock obviously pretty well, like the, the yeah, door because, mechanism itself, because yeah. you don't want it rattling right. or opening. It was almost magnetized. And yeah. I didn't want to break it. So I we were like so yeah. we we're like, no, maybe you pull it, maybe yeah. you tug it. You just yeah. pull hard. Get a look at the hard. bathroom before this battery the camera uh, dies. Uh, uh, and then I'll cause, well, I'm gonna change the battery, but okay, here we go. There you right, go, guys. so full shower in here. I will be back. You know, um, toilet here. There's not a mirror, and there's this bar going across, so you can use this to hang coats up in, or you can remove the bar. Um, from what I see, this is probably like a different kind of toilet here that we'll have to get her explained when she does, but you could fold this if you want to go through, or you can open it a little bit like that and fold if you're in there and you need... Oh, there is a mirror actually on the door. On the door, okay. There you go. Toilet paper holder? Toilet paper holder, maybe in something here. What's this? Oh, that's probably for the toilet paper right okay. there, which is cool. Yeah. Of I mean, it is interesting all the different ideas that these uh, vans have because we're working with such a small footprint. Yeah. You know, lots of different, you know, creative ways of doing it for sure. So, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's got this already built in. You've got your shower head with an attachment so you can hook it there and use it like a shower. Mm -hmm. You know, it's smaller than ours though. Yeah, it's cool. There's more storage, it looks like, right here. So if this uh, if if this uh, ladder wasn't in the way, you could get more storage here. There's storage up here as well that you've got that you could put a bunch of stuff. These are cool. I like these. They're you know it's they're obviously smaller, um, but that's not my that's not my problem. My biggest problem with these, I mean, because this this is smaller than ours for sure, right? Like about two right. feet. My problem with this is I want all-wheel drive, sir. All-wheel drive or four before something like that. Uh -huh. uh, All-wheel drive to me is good. Uh, you know, four by four is better if you're really going off-road. But you know, with all-wheel drive, you need some clearance and stuff. And but that was that was a priority over the layout even for you because I would have rather not have had the double beds. But that particular vehicle was all-wheel drive. Was all the things you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. So. So people, someone was asking me yesterday, what did I, what would I change on ours? And I would love to do a bed setup like this. Yeah. At least like maybe on like one side, one yeah. side, maybe one side remains a sofa, but the others up yeah. or something. Give something us more like walkway. Yeah. This That's is not really a sofa. You can't sit there. Yeah, no, you can't. In yeah. ours, you can, but you know, if we had a bunk bed on one side, then it would give us a little bit more walkway. 
Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome, guys. We're gonna change batteries and then roll right back here. <laughs> so if you guys, if you turn around here, you'll see that the awning is out. So I mean, it's not really windy, but it's raining, and the awning was kind of very convenient. Um, I, as I said, I don't really know anything about these. I do like that the control panel and everything's right up here. Which one is this? Um, this is the Ethos. Is this the Ethos? Yeah. It is. So this is the one we were looking at that has the rear bath. And if you look here, so this is set up a lot like ours. And one of the things I learned yesterday as well is that these are actually a little bit wider than like the Ford or the Mercedes. So if you look, now they've split it. It looks like this one is a little bit wider than this one. So you could sit here, but you could probably sleep someone on this if you really had to. And honestly, you can get one person in there. You know, Lola and I have sometimes been two people on a bed like that. There's ram tracks in this. I like it. It feels more open and stuff like that. Um, still it cabinets. Open, but you said yeah. this is wider. It's a little bit wider. These cabinets are also a little bit thinner. Okay. And are these locked or something? How does this open? I don't know how these open. If they push in or whatever. But it seems like there's some kind of cabinetry here. Oh, once you lock them, you might have to... Okay, you really got to pull it. To unlock it maybe mm. okay so <laughs> um, these have seat belts on them so I'm sure you can actually seat, seat people here and that's probably why they made this one thinner mm -hmm. um, we looked at this from the outside already um, yeah. yeah that was the one with the rear bathroom I like I like this for the rear bath layout and then these seem kind of uh, like gives you more room and stuff back here and then every all your cooking stuff is here this is uh probably that looks like convection yeah this is a convection in here it's longer uh, it's always nice to get that convection a bunch of drawers and stuff and these um, pull out right here and then here's your domatic okay and then here, this looks like the sink that for some reason has. Oh, okay. It's got a cutting board and everything it comes with. You can. In a dish rack. Keep your, yeah, dishes and stuff like that in there, I guess. Nice, nice, yeah. So, you know, multiple uses for the sink, which is always a good idea. I believe in that. Um, it's that power station thing right here, too. That's cool. Um, is this yeah. the one that we did the turnaround of the seat? In? Yeah, this is where we were turning around the seats. And then this has one of these tables that I guess comes up and out like that. So if you turn that around, nice. you can make that into a little uh, office table. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. These are, these are cool. And I find with, with, the, um, with the ProMaster, because I've been using this so much longer um, to be B-Class, there's a lot more inventiveness in this. I, I would like to see that reach out to the Fords, right? That would be cool. We had to stop to clean the lens. I hope that looks better, Lola. It does look better. I'm okay. That. Good. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I like the layout of these because I think they've been doing it longer. So they, they've, they're more inventive. Like this kind of layout feels even roomier, I think, than our Beyond does. The com combination of it being wider, exactly how they styled it here, how they made these is a lot like airplanes, right? So it's giving you that feeling of openness and, and roominess in here, which is what I was looking uh, for. And then the, having the shower behind you there makes it feel like really big. Um, you get a smaller refrigerator and things like that, but I think this has some things that are better than what's in the Beyond. I'm, I'm happy with it, but this has some cooler things. Like you could sit probably more people in here. My big thing with all of these, as I've said before, is really, you know, I want that all wheel drive. Um, I just to me it's just better to drive in a rainy day like this you have more confidence when you're out driving but listen um, I know Becky's kind of busy there's a whole bunch of people here even though it's raining let's take a look at the other one and then we'll move on come on okay so on the outside the ethos 20 T so 20 foot um, let's see, flip out table, twin beds, dual roof rack, 
that's cool. Uh, go power solar panel, all that kind of stuff for 90,000. It's really not bad, you know? And this is the Eco. All right. <laughs> um, so this is the sequence. Looks like there's an, I don't know, I guess this is an outside ladder that you could set up here. Yeah, that's cool. This is 79, so $80,000. Let's look at the setup. We've got some folks in there right now. So bath in the back, um, expanding sleeper sofa right here. The fridge is here, and uh, you got a 24. You know, this is your galley and a TV and all that kind of stuff here. Um, this has one of the flip outs, which we can see right there that we just saw in the other one. So not bad. And then I just heard it sounded like a generator or something kicked on there. So it's a generator. Generator. Yeah. So. Um, you know, I think we got a look here. There's some in interesting uh, features in here and stuff like that. But it is raining. They've got some folks inside. Let's try to see if we can find our way over to the other Class Bs that are here right now. We're going to shut everything off because I'm not walking through the rain with the camera. And it does have the rear valve. I'll just show that real quick. Yeah, just like the ice. Yeah, the sink drops down like this. This is a little different. Your sink drops down and then you've got all of that in there and a separate shower thing, so that's cool. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm so on. This so, is under, this is not under you guys' regular thing. This is on the Fleetwood IROC. Fleetwood, Fleetwood IROC. Brand. Okay, yep. so Fleetwood yep. brand, the uh -huh. IROC. Okay. Yep. So this is completely different from the American Coach Patriot. It is. Obviously, lineup. This is one of the, the uh, ProMasters that you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. So this okay. is our Dodge ProMaster. It's mm -hmm. gasoline instead of our diesel Mercedes. Oh, okay. uh, this is the starting point when it comes to chassis, but mm -hmm. when it comes inside here, this is definitely Very the nice. highest yeah, end Dodge never, available. Yeah, I've never seen a, a Ram chassis look this good inside. <laughs> and technology-wise. So yeah. this is our Eco Freedom package mm -hmm. that is on our Mercedes. Mm -hmm. It's the exact same one here. Okay. No LP on board whatsoever. 12-volt mm -hmm. AC, 12-volt um, uh, hot water heater, mm -hmm. and then a gas-powered furnace. Wow, okay. Yeah, so um, everything you know from American Coach, everything you know from Midwest Automotive Designs, right. is right here in the Sleepwood Iron. Right in here. And we'll give everyone a quick look. Um, so being the, the, the uh, on, on the Ram, this is front wheel drive, right? It is, yeah, okay. it's front wheel drive. Front -wheel drive. Um, so you don't get the four wheel drive, but you mm -hmm. still get the front pulling. It's yeah. a better rear wheel little, drive. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's in between. Absolutely, yeah. That's what I was trying to explain to Lola. And then from the outside, because we were looking at it over there, we're like, what is that thing? It looks oh, sure. stretched. Yeah. And then we were arguing with each other because, like, you know, Corey was like, it's not stretched. It's, uh -huh. it's the same length. They're like, no, it looks longer. <laughs> is that the graphics? Because um, it really does. You know, especially the, graphics, from that side. the graphics look pretty cool. But mm -hmm. no, what this one right here, this is the 159 extended chassis. Mm -hmm. So this one right here is sitting at about uh, about 20 feet, 10 inches, 21 feet. Okay. okay? So okay. it's a little bit longer than some of your road treks that are the road trek SRT, uh -huh. which is uh, the shortest length the non-extended 159 okay. so this is 21 feet yeah oh yeah okay okay so we can go over there and talk to Corey about that because mm -hmm. now we have a running bet but if you come in Lola you'll see where these guys like where the the work really goes in look at the the wood treatment here I mean that's yeah that's like burl right <laughs> it is it's that's, walnut burl yeah that's awesome that looks amazing yeah. and that's all throughout it's throughout the vehicle like yeah. I said it, wow. it is the American coach yeah. of Fleetwood yeah this is this is really good looking, and it has the con you don't typically see the convection. Not in the Dodge. No, not in the Dodge. That's true. I, I have a Ford. I don't have a convection. Sure. In there. So yeah, these are awesome. Uh, very nice. So I just want I just wanted to show the folks that you know. Yeah, plenty if you of wanted, solar yeah. power too. Yeah. You know, 320 watts of solar on the roof of right. this vehicle. Yeah, if you want to be the big baller mm -hmm. in the uh, Ram chassis <laughs> division, when you go tell your friends, I really like how you guys put this wood finish over all the, the air ducts and things like that. You know, we, we so, are uh, about the quality and craftsmanship, and we like to mm -hmm. show off what we can do. Because yeah. all this is done in-house at our own facility. You know, we even put JL Audio on board, mm -hmm. LG Televisions. These are things that you'll never find on the Dodge. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the luxury high-end Dodge with all the technology yeah. that you could ever think of. So what does something like this cost? At the, What's the show price yeah. on this? So this one right here is 117 show price. 117, not okay. Bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, with a full yeah. lithium package, you're yeah. right on par with a lot of them, but yeah. you're getting a lot Cause more. Because you're going to get, because typically these are starting like around 879, yeah. Eight, yeah, yeah. like at yep. the show. 
So but, but with everything you've bumped this up to, it's really it. not bad. So yeah. what we find is, is that you know your 7980 mark, okay, mm -hmm. is the ones that do not have a generator on board. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you jump to 90 to 100. Mm -hmm. Those are ones that have generators on board. Mm -hmm. And then if you get to about 110 plus, then you have a lithium system. Right. In Dodge. Yeah. Yeah. So very competitively priced for all. If you if you enjoy all this stuff, which I'm telling you, you will. <laughs> Everyone's gonna go in there. What? I mean, the floors. Are, we're messing up the floors because it's raining, but. Uh, <laughs> You know, it I'm is, sure you guys it built it well. soon here at Ocala. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. What does the bathroom look like? Okay, let's show. Yeah, um, even though this is a smaller van. Oh, the price? Oh, yes. Great. Price right there, but yes. this button right here. Turn the light on in there. Yeah, okay. So does this close all the way? You can probably close this all the way and then oh. come through. Oh, so the great thing about this is the is same nice. mold that yeah. we use on our bigger Mercedes. Mm -hmm. So no smaller size inside here. Mm -hmm. Look at yeah. this sink. I like these showers like this, like this, like basically a pencil shower head kind yeah. of deal mm -hmm. going on. Very nice. I like the surround. You got a little bit of marble going around the mm -hmm. sink here. Of course. Very nice. nice classy. Nice yeah. You know, for us taller guys, because, you know, the, the six foot plus guys have some trouble with the vans. Mm -hmm. So what we notice is myself, I mm -hmm. sit on the toilet and use the wand for my mm -hmm. shower. Because oh, I can't see. stand up in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's for most guys. Yeah. Are going to well, be that way. I mean, now. I'm not as tall as you, <laughs> but I would do, see, as a dude, mm -hmm. I like to do everything all at the same time. There you go. You do all the numbers. You Multi do one, that. two, and three, boom, while you're sitting. We no? got to get out to the trails and hike. <laughs> right, I get you. We got to get going. <laughs> so you did the same, the same fancy quilt pattern. Oh, absolutely. Seating in here. You know, you got, you got to brag about what you can do. The seats look even more plush. You know, because uh, a lot more of that padded. is from the Mercedes Benz, uh, I'm sorry, Dodge okay. Pro Master here. Um, they have more plush front seats than Mercedes does. Okay. And then we just add our wrap with a little bit of foam on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks very comfy. Hey, how And as far as the outside goes, just a regular awning. Yep, regular awning. Um, you got the same running boards you're going to find on a Mercedes. Okay. All the cladding. Mm -hmm. Now this is a little different. All of our cladding is color matched to the vehicle itself. And then we put black rims with a black graphic going down the side. Mm -hmm. Typically Which we could show on the other yeah, side here. Yeah, it looks yeah, great. Right the door. Yeah. That's what's creating the mirage. <laughs> it, 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 it is. That is bigger than oh, what it yep. is. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely like this is definitely the custom version right here. Yes. yes. You know, when you when you go to the when you go to the ProMaster chassis meetups or whatever, yep. you're the king of the road. You know, you're and another thing too is, you know, everyone's got a Travato, everyone's got all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. You want to stand out and be unique. Yeah. This is a pretty new product. Yeah. You know? And we really haven't sold very many of them because we're heavily in the Mercedes business mm -hmm. and everybody's asking us for them. Mm -hmm. So when you get an IROC and show up, you're probably yeah. one of the very few that has an IROC at yeah. these meetups. Oh, absolutely. You know, who yeah. wants it's to classy. have, oh, cool, there's another Travato. Nice. You know? Yeah. No, it's classy, man. I like mm -hmm. it. I like it. I like the graphics. I like all the everything. all the business that's all hitting away. I like yes. that. Feature. Yeah, we like doing that. You yeah. know, like I said, look is very important so to us. can we go in through the back here? Absolutely. Yep. Very similar to the Mercedes in the back oh, side okay. there. So back here, and we'll just do it real quick because we don't want everything to yep. get all wet. So you've got storage underneath here mm -hmm. if you need it very nice you got obviously this pulls down uh i like how you guys have this extra <laughs> in there it's not like so uh -huh. some of these do have like a thin thing here and it's easy yeah. for it to come off track and come out that's nice yeah no, so we, we i appreciate go that a little bit beyond it yeah absolutely and then do you have the um the, the full-time surround thing here also oh, yeah absolutely full jail audio frown oh okay no so i'm talking oh. about the cameras Oh, uh, so no, no cameras no, no, okay. on this one, not okay. on the Dodge. All right. But you do have a rear view camera there, and you also have parking sensors on your back as okay. well. Okay. This Fair is kind of what they call the uh, high-end model of the Dodge, because you also yeah. have power folding mirrors too. Uh -huh. So um, if you're trying to use your size, your parking or anything like that, you just hit the button. Yeah. Power folding mirrors, and you're fitting in any spot. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, absolutely, dude. All right. What are we on to next, Lola? More class VRVs. Okay. You're in the right spot. Yeah, Sunshine I know. Sunshine is the right spot. I'm telling you. <laughs> Nick, Nick is paying you well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lola. Come on in. I'm going to show my seat thing on something that I actually know how to do the seat. That's important. So come in. Oh, this uh, is we're in a on. this is a beyond obviously. And uh, let me see which one is this? It's the LI3. Yeah, this is the 22D. 
which obviously has the uh, twin bunks in the back here, has the bigger fridge right here for anyone. I, I like the cup holders on yeah. the seats. Um, I think we didn't we do a video on this already. No, I'm okay. not sure. No. Okay, well, just a quick spin around it. So it's got those. It's got the you know big shower here, glass doors, uh, white cabinet tree. Um, built in I like this little built in thing you could put everything here and the sink and all that shower caddy yeah um, and this has an actual switch so you can switch to off shower check that out that's nice I'm gonna show that to Nick <laughs> have a little conversation <laughs> about that we, we looked at this yeah. but we didn't actually come yeah. in so check it out here's what I want to show here's what I want to show before we get too lost in it. So if you have the seat, you never see this in the videos of people like, oh, you can easily turn it around. Okay, let me see if I could turn this around here. Uh, no, see that right there? I cannot turn it, why? Because the door. So the thing is, if you're in and you need to turn it, you're gonna have to open the door and then you can spin it around. And you know, it's raining and everything, but it's just, you know, it's still easy, it's still convenient, so I'm not trying to say that it's not, but you're going to have to open that door in order to do it, which I think like a lot of times at night, what I've found is that once we do all of this and we're in for the night and everything, you know, you, you, you just, you don't want to do that, right? So psychologically, if you don't want to open the door and all that kind of stuff to go out or whatever it is at night, you want to do that before you get all settled in. But it's really not that big of a deal. You just open the door. That's the thing. So the same thing with turning it back, right? You got to open the door. Spin it around. Now you might have to move it up or down, but then you're good to go. So easy peasy. All right. Now you want to talk about stuff here, Lola? Cause I see you're all purse lipped. She's like, I am not purse lipped. This is what this <laughs> this is what Lola. Let me just show you guys. This is what Lola looks like. I am not purse lipped <laughs> for your information. You don't want to like. Okay, who cares about that? Okay. Yeah, you're still hung up on swiveling right, the damn chair. So what chair. do you want to see here? I, I I like this one. You like this? This is, this is what I was trying to show you. That it's got this little hideaway in here. Okay, congratulations. You know, but you can store things away. And okay, then when I've you're when you're seated here, not only do you have a cup holder, but you mm -hmm. also have a, a little table okay. right here on the side. You can sit your food on or whatnot and, and yeah. sit comfortably eating here. It's and nice. It's, it's kind of cool. Yeah. And you know the thing about all these models is that there's I, it's probably no two that are alike. Mm-hmm that are identical because there's always something new or different that they're adding mm -hmm. to it as they're building. So this one, you know, it's, it's got some things I like. I like yeah. the way to go cup holders there. Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. Tuck away. It is cool. I, without a doubt, it's got, it's cool. it's got the bigger fridge, fridge which yeah. I would like so to have. So you've got the big freezer compartment down here. You want the big fridge? I don't really I do need the, the big, big fridge. fridge. Where are you going to keep the ice cream? There's a little fridge. You don't need that much ice cream. Oh, that's true. I don't need so, all the calories. That's for sure. There you go. All right, so let's go out here. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for pushing me out the door. Oh, sorry, babe. This was the 2021 22D yeah. variable drive. I almost died right there. And Lola is nonplussed. You just bumped me out the door with the backpack. It actually was the backpack. It was an eye. It was the backpack. Yeah. Let me check this out. Oh, look, it's got little bins here, too. Okay, I'm gonna hand the... It's kind of windy out here. Yep. At least the rain is gone. Yeah, it's not a bad day. You know, it's not super sunny. So here you go. Tons of... And the beyond. So, one of the things about this is you're going to need chairs, okay? Definitely need chairs. Lola and I knew this, but we were like, what, what chairs do you get? Do you get expensive chairs, really nice ones, big ones, small ones? So, I did ask these guys that, and they said, you know what? Just get the, the chairs that fit in the smallest package, lightweight, that you can stow away somewhere. Lola went to Walmart yesterday and got some Ozark Trail chairs. These take up to 250 pounds. That's the weight capacity on these. And we'll try them out. We'll see how they are. And then um, after that, we'll try to pack them back in here and see if they're easy 
because ultimately I'm not saying these are the perfect chairs I'm just saying if it you know if it's too big or whatever then too big or too heavy, doesn't serve too us cumbersome then we're not gonna use it yeah so let's do that we're gonna set these up right now okay Lola Lola made a good suggestion we should just do it right here pull out our awning so I'm gonna use the app extendo shouldn't be any rain in there but I'm stepping back anyway it's a little windy if it's too windy it'll close on its own but I think it's fine it's not really that bad out here we don't need the shade <laughs> not today all. but uh the cover from the drizzle I'll bring it out anyway let's see if it gets too windy it'll close that's pretty long yeah it's pretty wide yeah so just as a demonstration, I'll do this and we'll see if it um, actually uh, closes up or whatever. So let's see how quickly I could do this. No instructions. Open up these chairs. So first, I'm assuming you get it out of the bag. I mean. I think you assume correctly. Yeah, hold on. There you go. All right, and then there you go. Pretty easy. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, and then I don't want to lose the bag, so I'm probably would tie the bag on here. I don't know. They might have a system for that. Just put it inside. No, I'll tie the bag right there. Look, easy peasy. Make a little knot. You always Heck have to things tip. the hard way. All right. Do you want a chair? Keeps Do you want a chair, Lola? I I'm planning on taking that first one. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're not planning on shooting video, obviously, because you're not doing that properly. Do your job and do it well. And you're welcome. Boom, there you See, go. You didn't have to put together the legs and pop this leg into this hook and that hook. You, you know, just... I'm not going to tie your thing on here. No, this one's not. Tie my here. thing for me. Don't be I... like that. Boom. And it's all got right. a cup holder and all that in it. Yeah. Okay, well, have a so, seat. It's supposed to take up to 250 pounds, which... We're a little bit over that rating. <laughs> but there you go. Good to go. It's gonna do it. If you look, it has to go get to a certain miles per hour before it. No, it, it'll do it. Just retracts. It's gonna do it. Trust me. <laughs> I'm trying to see when it's when it's gonna close. Okay, here's a good gust right now. Come on. So, yeah. what I'm going to do is make them. Look at Murphy go. Three days, they're about three inches long. Oh, longer? And hey, buddy. Two of us. Oh, okay. Oh, that's for that. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm surprised. This should have all closed by now. Woo! Okay, here we go. Woo, you rolling? Here we go. That did it. You should be doing it. That did it. Yeah, that, did, that dust, that dust made it go up. It it's a now, slow if you, go. If you, if you come in here, Lola, come in here. You'll see, just look right there. You'll see, there's the powder. I saw the powder from right there. Yeah. When you walk, far, when you walk away from it, you see the powder. It's a slow go, though, to retract back. It, it did its job, though. It, it did. did. It by yeah. It did. It did. Yeah. Awesome. Job well it done. Did. <laughs> it worked. He wanted to test it. To yeah. make sure it would retract. Yeah. What was that? I said he wanted to test it to make sure that it works. Oh, well, it, it worked, baby. Automatically. Yeah. So, okay, we're sitting out here with Dean, who is the founder. Are you the founder? What yeah, do we call you? The I guess Facebook? So. That, that's what you call me. Uh, founder, we, originator. Copy do tutti copy. What's that again? The copy di tutti copy. You know what that is? No. Captain of captains. Oh, really? Oh. Yes. You know, it's like learned, a mafia thing. I learn you know? something new every day. Yeah. You never heard of that? Like when no, they talk about the mafia? I guess my They're like, education remember, a little bit. Yeah. I think uh, John Gotti was a copy to Tutti Copy. Oh. That's what they call it. Captain of Captains. Something like so. that. <laughs> Protect your voice. Yeah. So the Facebook group is called uh, Coachman Beyond Owners group, right? Uh, Coachman Beyond and CrossFit. forward slash CrossFit. CrossFit. Owners yeah. and prospects. Because yeah. we welcome not only owners, but people who are thinking about perhaps purchasing mm -hmm. 
I just want some more information. I, yeah. you know, today, like over here at the show, I personally invited people to to join. I told them they can sit back, just read, listen, mm -hmm. or engage in conversation with other owners. Yeah, I you find know, it to all, be a great group. Or owners, group. period. Yeah. So I'm on the group, and uh, this gentleman, what's your name, sir? Tom Hawes. Tom Hawes. 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 Okay. I got to tell you a quick he's story also about in the group. I'm going to tell you a quick story about Tom. Uh oh. So no, <laughs> Tom and I. We met on the Facebook group. Uh -huh. Tom was an early adopter, one of the first. Mm -hmm. He flew from Maine down from New, from Brunswick, Maine down to Gainesville after he made a deal at mm -hmm. Sunshine State RV. Awesome. Drives okay. his back, his van back mm -hmm. in February. Oh, to Maine. so you didn't let them ship it to you? You got yours. Okay. So the following summer, we're talking. It was in the fall. I think it was in the fall, wasn't it, Tom? Yeah. Anyway, Tom's had some time off, and. Uh, we wanted to meet. He goes, I think I'll take a trip to Albuquerque from mm -hmm. Brunswick, Maine. Yeah. It was like Saturday. He goes, I'll be there Monday. Yeah. I said, no, it's impossible. <laughs> Guess what? He made it. I made he it. made it. He's the man. He's a traveler. Before he had bought his yeah. CrossFit. Oh, before you bought yours. Before he no, bought his. Before, before I bought he... mine. Oh, okay. Awesome. So it was crazy. We met at a coffee shop, had coffee. We hit it off, and uh, then of course I bought mine, and uh, now I've, I've been I visited his home twice in Maine. We've done some traveling in Maine okay. together, up to Bar Harbor, Arcadia National Park. Uh -huh. It's been beautiful. It's been a great awesome. relationship. Yeah, just like yourselves. Absolutely. So, folks, how many um, how many um, owners or well, members right now. Yeah, members have, in the group. Uh, just a little over 3175. 3175, okay. As of okay. this morning. As of this morning. Very We're good. We're growing at about uh, 6% a month. Okay, okay. It's been cool. pretty just a step. And then, so what percentage of people are owners versus people who are thinking about it? You know, that's a hard uh, number to get a fix on. Uh, mm -hmm. I would say it's probably about 25% of actual owners. Okay. And that's only because the van's only been around, what, just a little over three months? Since, About a year. Uh, three, two years? Seventeen. Seventeen? Yeah. Okay. I think there was an earlier model in 16. And there wasn't a lot of production. it was a prototype. Okay. And then 17, 18, mm -hmm. which I bought, mm -hmm. that came out. And then they quickly changed that the next year mm. and went more to uh, electronics. Mm -hmm. Okay. was the big change. Okay. Do you see any people with the old school ones out there? Me. <laughs> you're the, you're the, the guy with the old school? Toggle switches. Oh, so we so I, I don't know if we could take a look at yours. It would be awesome if we could, just to show Tom, you. It's kind of raining and everything's messed up here, so I don't want to mess up everyone. It's so, it's so perfect, Tom. You know, Maine, their tagline is the way life should be. Mm -hmm. And with that kind of is like simpler. Mm -hmm. Tom doesn't like the electronics, the firefly. Okay. He likes to put his hand on a yeah. toggle switch. Switch is old school. You want to flip like those I can flip a switch, mm -hmm. toggle switch, shut the power off to that mm -hmm. awning. Mm -hmm. Or my water pump, mm -hmm. my, um, <laughs> forgotten. Everything, the heat. Everything. Yeah, the heat. So you don't have the app then? You don't have like an app? Or I have phone. an app for the lights. Oh, for the lights, there was an app. Yeah, okay. There is an app for that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. But no Firefly panel, LCD panel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I have buttons to mm -hmm. check the battery, to check my tanks. Mm -hmm. Push a button. Right. To see. To so check. when you when you drive somewhere, do you like open a trap door in the floor and then put your feet in there and go like this, like in the front? <laughs> I like crank up the van. <laughs> and the brakes look like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool though. That's cool. Yeah. So, so what do you think about the new ones? What do you think about these new ones? Well, I think, and I talked to Greg at Coachman about this. Mm -hmm. I think that the new electronics is fine mm -hmm. if you grew up mm -hmm. with computers. Right. Okay. If you didn't, mm -hmm. then it's way out of your league. Okay. Yeah. Like I enjoy it because I I, I like all the the yeah. computer stuff and being able to do everything. Like the van being a Ford, I can actually start this van up from an app. The Ford can, Pass app, right? Yeah, I can open the doors, lock the door, start the van up, see how much gas well, is in there. I can actually, well I can't do that, but mm -hmm. 
I can auto start mine. Yeah. Lock from, the doors. From, yeah. From the key fob. From the key fob. But with the app now, you could do well, all he, that he, stuff. He did an aftermarket key fob. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so they didn't have the key fob, wasn't able to do that in the no. beginning no. either. Okay. No. Okay, so what about the sensors and stuff like that? I don't or have those. The rear view camera? I have a rear view camera. Okay. Does it stay on all the time or just only when you're backing up? Only when you're backing up. Yeah, that that's I can, the same with this. I can put it on mm -hmm. so it's on all the time. Oh, you can? So, so I put mine on mm -hmm. to watch my bike. In the so back. how do you do that? Is that did you, you just you uh, push a button on the radio mm -hmm. that says camera. It's a Kenwood system. It's not an OEM oh, system. Oh, okay. At the time, they be, they didn't adopt into the sink at first. Yeah. So when the 3.7 engine came out, which were the early versions of the CrossFit Beyond, mm -hmm. um, they would rather than just order them with a regular radio and they weren't adopting into the sink, they put their own Kenwood system mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. So there were some pluses and some limitations of yeah. that, of course. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. I think that kind of stuff is cool. Yeah. You know, there's people, it's like you said, I, I grew up and I started driving in the, in the, like, let's say late 80s. It's like, actually started driving and stuff like that. So I was looking at cars before that and I noticed that I like how things look from the outside. Because I was, as a kid, looking at it like, oh, that's cool. But really driving them with all the knobs, I'm like, no. But, but I, when I see like 90s cars I get nostalgic I'm like oh I yeah. remember that plastic yeah. <laughs> you know and how you had to put that in gear and all that kind of stuff so yeah you know it's uh, it's cool yeah yeah for something that hasn't been around super long right yeah no yeah. they've yeah. done very well yeah so where have you traveled with yours and then we'll ask Dean like where you've traveled but where have you tell us the places you've taken your beyond to Albuquerque Albuquerque when I first got it mm -hmm. Um, Florida, mm -hmm. all over Maine. Maine, okay. You know, okay. New Hampshire, New yeah. England. Yeah, nice, okay. So, okay. I'm trying to think You haven't gone out, uh, well obviously you went out to New Mexico, but you don't go out west that much. Well, I've been there with my pickup I had. Right. But I haven't been with the Beyond. Oh, okay. Or CrossFit. Not yet. But I'm going. Okay. I'd like to go in the next year or two yeah head out to montana and yeah i don't yeah i think it'll be cool time. sometime to do like a caravan yeah where people yeah. we kind of like everyone plan they, they plan the stops and then we all meet up somewhere and then we all drive behind each other and, you know and we yeah. go on a set adventure we'll be like a holly game yeah that would be yeah. so cool <laughs> yeah that would be yeah that would be cool so wh where have you been with your beyond uh pretty much every state so far and then uh, one province in canada alberta i spent the first uh late spring summer of uh 19 uh up in alberta okay basically covering we're going over the border in idaho and then uh um uh, going up to uh, lake louise Banff, up the Columbia Icefield Road, all the way to Jasper, mm -hmm. then out onto the Eastern Plains, Edmonton, Calgary. Wow. So six weeks, it was it was awesome. Okay. Uh, how many miles, so how, what year is yours? Mine's a 19 uh, on a Ford 2018 chassis. Okay, yeah. okay, 18 chassis, 19. 19 how many miles. miles, how many miles do you have on it? Uh, just coming up on 90,000. 90,000, oh, awesome. And next <laughs> week, uh, on the 13th, there'll be Two and a half years old. Two and a half. Okay, so cool. I got it in September of eighteen. Okay. Okay. So it's basically it's been coming up to about three thousand miles a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. So you live in yours full time, right? Full time. Okay. Yeah. And then, but you don't live in yours full time. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. I use it. Mm -hmm. It's my everyday drive. It's your everyday. Yeah. And how is that for an everyday? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I see myself like I everyday drive this because it's my office. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, this is not bad. <laughs> no, it's great. You don't want to back up or anything else because no. it's backing up. Yeah, and then, yeah, I go some places and take up all the spot. you know, take like three spots up and stuff like that. Yeah. But, I, tr you know, I try to go out where no one's parking and all that, but it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's comfortable. It's easy. I never have a trouble yeah. parking. Mm -hmm. What kind of gas mileage do you guys get? That's a question people always ask me about gas mileage. Well, for me, for 19... Uh uh, I take that back for 20 now. Mm -hmm. um, 
16.8 miles per gallon. 16.8. Wow. Yeah, but that, that's I have to qualify that because you know right. how people drive. So I'm an easy start. Right. I pre, you know, I look at the traffic slowing, the mm -hmm. red lights, mm -hmm. slow, easy. Okay. Um, cruise control. I'm a big cruise crew control. As soon as I can engage it, whether it's 30 miles or 35 miles an hour, I don't limit it just to highway use. Oh wow. Okay. So yeah. that's a big plus. Nice. So okay. um, that's pretty good. So like that's why I qualify that 16.8 yeah. with yeah. that. So you're a hyper miler. You're a class B hyper miler. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> what about you, Tom? Actually, I have. I've got the three seven non turbo. Oh, okay. So I get You've got between, the naturally aspirated. I yeah. get between fifteen five and twenty one. Really? Twenty one. Wow, that's pretty good. Yep. That's impressive. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting because on this I get 13.2, <laughs> but I have a lead foot. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah. I probably drive a little fast. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, I don't put it in uh, cruise control until I'm doing like 70, 75. Oh, really? Yeah. What's the fastest you guys, the fastest I've been with this is about 85, 90. Uh, for me, once on 380 in New Mexico, I just wanted to... Mm -hmm. So, which is 54 miles straight from mm -hmm. Carrizoza, New Mexico, over to San Antonio, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. I, I took it up to 100. Whoa! Just to see, awesome. to see how the wheels were balanced. Yeah. How, how was you know, that? <laughs> how it sounded. But usually, my top speed is 67. Whether it's 80 speed limit in Wyoming or mm -hmm. 75 in Utah, or 70, 67 is kind of a sweet number. Um, Last week, going down to the Key West, um, basically it's 45 to 50 mile per hour posted, and so that was a 19.2 mile a gallon trip. Mm -hmm. 45 to 55 was really beautiful, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. for fuel economy. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. How about you, Tom? 65.70. 70. You go range. easy. You're not. Yeah. Yeah, you're not you're really mean, trying I've to been, race anyone. <laughs> I've been more uh -huh. at some point, but. Mm -hmm. Normally, sixty-five, seventy. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to see the same thing, huh? Rafe. I wanted to see. I wanted. To, I wanted to see the same thing, like how fast it could go. Mike, you're on camera. All right. So, also a member of the Beyond and CrossFit Owners Group is Campin Coasty. There he goes. Hello. Debs here and Spike's here, joining yeah. us also. Hi. Hi. Yeah, of course. We've got Dean, and, and we've got Tom as well. So. I thought this would be a good opportunity here at the end of the video. First of all, you know what? You're an awesome dude, man. Great I appreciate to meet you. you. Thank you. I'm good to meet you yeah, too. Yeah. I've, yeah. I, before I bought this, I looked at a lot of your videos, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I do have yeah. a few videos out there. <laughs> yeah, and that helped out a lot. Yeah. So um, I thought since I'm a newbie, you're kind of old school at this. All of you guys have been doing this a lot longer than I have, obviously. You know, maybe we could talk about some of the rules of the road, kind of like rules of the road etiquette kind of thing you know for the for the new guys maybe some stuff you see because there's a lot of people getting into the class b game nowadays there certainly is yeah so where where would you start with that well um it, the class b to us enables us to travel in a way that um it's just real freedom mm -hmm. we, we're not set to any regulations or rules of mm -hmm. of what we're going to do you know mm -hmm. where we're going to be we basically start each day and say, um, where do you want to go to today? Mm -hmm. And that's where we go. Mm -hmm. So we typically spend a lot of nights in uh, Cracker Barrels, Walmarts, mm -hmm. rest stops. Uh, we hardly ever pay for camping. Okay. So uh, to, to us, one of the big things is like, if you do go to a Walmart or a Cracker Barrel, don't be obnoxious. Um, one, to the property owner, mm -hmm. and two, to other people that, who might be there spending the night also mm -hmm. uh, in other words we usually call up the walmart and, or the cracker barrel and first ask if it's okay to spend the night mm -hmm. and they'll usually say yes but please park out by the uh, lawn and garden section or park out no, near the road okay so we always uh, you know abide to those rules because yeah. We are a guest of those properties. Absolutely, yeah. So and it is private property. It's private they, property. Yeah. If something happens, they can call the cops and <laughs> right and have you trespass. <laughs> yeah. Which is not really fun. <laughs> so if they do say to park out by the road, mm -hmm. you know, park out there by the road. Mm -hmm. And um, if you have a 
we don't we don't have to worry about all the slides and all that because we just had the van. Mm -hmm. But we like to park in the smallest space needed. Okay. You know, uh, we're not going to park and take up four parking spots, you know, lengthwise or so we, we try to park that way. Okay. Um, if we're at a Cracker Barrel, uh, Cracker Barrels are usually nice. They usually have like four or five parking mm -hmm. spots for RVs in the mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of times people come in with big trailers and they need those spots. Mm -hmm. So if, if there's a, if they're all empty, we'll take one of the RV spots, but we usually kind of keep over to the side. Mm -hmm. And uh, and whenever you stay someplace, always leave it as clean as you found it. You know, don't leave trash out. Uh, and and please don't dump your tanks. You know, even if it's fresh water. Uh -huh. You know, some people have done, especially in Walmart's. That's because that's causing problems. Where people, so so what do you mean? Like people are just so there's no specific place for you to dump it. Right. Um, into and people just open up. Yes, I've seen people do that. They'll they'll be out on the edge of the property and they'll open their gray tank, not the black tanks, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. But they'll I've mm -hmm. seen people dump gray tanks in parking lots, which mm -hmm. is just not. Not mm -hmm. good, and that ruins it for other RVers. You know, yeah. Class B, C's, A's, whatever. Yeah, you have to respect people's property. Absolutely. So, so that's a, a big thing. And then, as far as traveling goes, um, we when we go to a place, we always try to park in a, uh, the spot that's not an inconvenience to anybody else. Mm -hmm. So, like if we go to a, a national park or something to the visitor center. You know, we don't pull it into the main spots and take up. We'll go out off to the side and, uh, and overhang a little bit in the parking lot to back out mm -hmm. and just try to be, un, you know, it's not, not the prime parking spots right. where mm -hmm. the folks coming in and out of that place need right. to go yeah. to. Because yeah. we are kind of a big vehicle, it's, it's kind of uh, noticeable. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to have some people, only that people in that van taking up this mm -hmm. good spot. So we just park out in the back and, mm -hmm. and, and enjoy stuff like that. Okay, very good. Deb, do you have do you have any or Tom? Yeah, Dean? Yeah, we, yeah, we like to be respectful because we are thankful for the privilege, mm -hmm. and um, like he said, to keep it clean. Um, maybe even try to go in and have a meal at Cracker Barrel, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes, mm -hmm. and thank the manager mm -hmm. while you're in there. Or um, something that's easy to do is go into Walmart and pick something up. That's just <laughs> Yeah. And there's going to really be something you need in there. Oh, every day, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we do that. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we stayed a lot of places, though. We've also stayed at American Legions. We stayed at um, City Hall parking lots, mm -hmm. like Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, uh, rest stops, like he said. Um, we just... Restaurants. Restaurants, we, yeah. We, yeah. We actually yeah. stayed at one famous restaurant one night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got there about 9 o'clock at night. There was nobody there. And uh, they were having a big grand opening, so we wanted to make sure we were able to get there and park. So mm -hmm. I said, let's just get there early. You know, So we got there at 9 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And when we woke up, there was a police officer out there who was going to direct people into the parking lot for, mm -hmm. for parking. And I got out and said hi to him. He goes, boy, he says, you must have got here early because... <laughs> you were here when I got here at six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we said, yes, we did. So, yeah. And it's a famous restaurant in Texas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about that? Yeah. That's okay. all we'll say. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah. but we were, we, you know, we, we went in there and we ate a meal, mm -hmm. two meals actually, and we left and mm -hmm. it was all good. But, yeah. you know. No. Some, some of the Walmarts even have security people. Mm -hmm. And I've heard some reviews uh, about a particular Walmart. It had a security man, and people said, "Well, he's just a little bit, you know, over the top, a little too uh, bossy, or telling you what to do." But uh, we just treated him with respect and, and did what he asked. And and the same thing, there was security at a there was a nice rest stop on the I guess it's the Mississippi Louisiana border on ten, mm -hmm. real nice rest stop. And um, we've been there twice recently, both times, kind of scared us at. About 10:30 at night, we heard a rapping on the door, mm -hmm. and it was really dark out. And it was a security officer, and of course, Spike alerted us real Sweet. well. Mm -hmm. So it was a little first time it was scary, and and he was asking us to move somewhere else so that an 18 wheeler could park there because there's um, a lot of places like I think some rest stops are actually closed in some states now. We've noticed over the summer anyway, mm -hmm. where yeah. uh, 18 wheelers aren't able to park. So. Um, and they really need the space. So we moved along, you know, so he could make room for this 18-wheeler in an RV parking spot. But, hey, that was great. Mm -hmm. And then the next time, 
he rapped on our door the next time we were there and told us that we were it was a very vacant area and we were parking the wrong direction we did take up four spots but it was like totally empty so mm -hmm. we made an allowance and we were parking the long way going the wrong direction and he just wanted to let us know that we were going the wrong direction not to go out because it was a one-way street in yeah so mm -hmm. not i think the wrong way. honestly i think he just wanted to know who was in there it was um hate to bring up a sad um story but remember when that van i think it was in um nashville or somewhere in tennessee mm -hmm. exploded mm -hmm. and it was right around that time oh, okay. and i really think that um he just wanted to know what was going mm -hmm. on with this van over here yeah, he's parked. being proactive mm -hmm. yeah. yeah typically so, those folks are out there working right they've got directives right. and things like that so we said thank you and we'll keep that in mind yeah. <laughs> we said good night he was happy it was, mm -hmm. you know just the mild-mannered camping coasties there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about. And, and the funny thing about the guy, the Walmart security guard, was that he had an, a very important job to do. I mean, it was an extremely important job yeah. because that Walmart mm -hmm. had probably mm -hmm. 50 mm -hmm. RVs and semis in that parking lot at night. 50, wow. Oh, yeah. It okay. was packed. And wow. he was making sure... Mm -hmm. All the RVs could line up mm -hmm. so that none of them would get blocked. Mm -hmm. He would tell everybody where to park. He says, okay, you have a small van, you park over right. here. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it was like, it was a very important job because it could be a nightmare if they had to leave. Absolutely, yeah. And, There's uh, typically a reason why they have someone out there doing those mm -hmm. kinds of things. Yeah. Do you guys have any kind of etiquette stuff you want to uh, add for the, you know, any pet peeves of what you see the new guys doing? <laughs> Don't take up a spot for a trailer truck. Okay. Yeah. That's that'll, very important. That'll make the cops come real quick. So don't take up the tractor trailer spot. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. one thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 The rest here is too. Um, I agree a lot. Most everything that uh, Gardner and Deb said. Um, and the rest stops when you're exiting, you know, onto the rest areas. Um, you'll always see that division trucks, RVs. Mm -hmm in cars this way mm -hmm. so a lot of times especially the newbies they say oh i'm an rv and they go over the yeah. truck side mm -hmm. but since we are a van we're only 22 feet long all the spaces we can be accommodated in the car side so mm -hmm. it's best to adhere to the car side oh. and you'll find that the length's plenty of course the width's mm -hmm. the same we're no mm -hmm. wider than any other vehicle okay so it makes you know just make sure you don't Act so proud that you're an RV. And okay, pack I've actually done that with the truckers. So, so, well, so, we didn't, we didn't so know. being a van, yeah, yeah being because a, the trucker space. It took us a few years to figure that out. Actually, yeah. like yeah, we, we would know. stop and are we an RV or should we go to the car? But we we were right. going to the car these days. It took yeah. three years. <laughs> okay, and the trucker spots are so precious, so much so now, mm -hmm. along along the interstate, still tell you ahead of time. There's 42 spaces, 12 are available. Yeah. It's, you know, so they're at a premium and the truckers, mm -hmm. you know, and we think when we pull in at maybe at seven or eight at night, but some of them are pulling in at 10, 11, 12, one in the morning. And if they see us there, you know, we're taking up a spot. We don't really need to take that kind yeah. of yeah. length of food. I'm glad you said that because I've done that. Cause I, I re honestly, I really didn't know. I was like, well, I don't want to get in trouble and go in the car yeah. side. Yeah. And then I get in trouble for it. So, so it's absolutely okay to go to the car side, or oh, it's, it's expected it's, for it's expected. vans mm -hmm. to go to the car side. Yeah. Yeah. And especially like because 18 wheelers, they have these long parallel spots. Mm -hmm. So if there's a, a tractor trailer here and there's a tractor trailer here, and you're up in the front, well, this 18 wheeler, he's coming in, he sees this opening here. Yeah, he's gonna start he going in. He starts swinging in, and all of a sudden he's like, oh, there's somebody there. So now he's got to back up, and he might have chose that spot because it was a little bit further down he might have passed up a spot mm -hmm. and now he's got nowhere to park and they have to park on the ramp or something yeah because yeah. truckers okay. have to by law stop and park mm -hmm. after so many hours of mm -hmm. driving they, yeah they're required to. they yeah. just can't say we're gonna i'll go to the next place yeah because and, and, yeah and the other thing too is about the rest areas most of them are 45 degree parking mm -hmm. You know, whether you're parking off the curb, it'd be 45 in one direction. And almost like the same etiquette as the Walmart in one section, I'll either try to park immediately as you come in on the off-ramp mm -hmm. because you're, you're over here and you're not visibility blocker. Mm -hmm. So people can actually, in vehicles, they can see spaces available. Right. If you take a middle line spot, 
Sometimes you're blocking, you don't really see the availability mm -hmm. in solo. So either they'll take the first spot or down the end. Mm -hmm. So I'm not kind of keeping that middle space open. Mm -hmm. You know, we're kind of a big wall. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, <clears throat> a lot of times to, especially that first spot's nice because when you have the sliding door, you're opening up on an island. Mm -hmm. You know, so you so have you don't have to kind of worry to about somebody yeah. coming in on top of you. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good that's a good point. My apologies to all the truckers who try to pull into that. <laughs> I, was, I was a complete newbie. I'm, I won't do it again. I'm glad these guys. I need the new man straight. now. Yeah. Well, we did that. There's a place in West Virginia called Tamarack, mm -hmm. which is a mega truck stop, mm -hmm. and we came rolling in in our um, van one night, and there's probably about 15 rows of lots of trucks. 50 mm -hmm. trucks. It's just huge and here we are slid in there in the middle of it well we'd asked them we were going to, we said we have a small rv where do we park mm -hmm. and the lady says just park out there mm -hmm. so we park out there and i'm thinking this is just not right no. i said, I, said I, I i i don't feel like i'm in the right mm -hmm. spot oh mm -hmm. you're like in a canyon with yeah. all these generators so, yeah it is around loud. us uh, and yeah. i said you know we really ought to move right so mm -hmm. i got out my cell move. phone and i looked at a aerial satellite view mm -hmm. and i said oh look across the street there's there's the, the uh, tamarack it's mm -hmm. the, that's where we thought we were we were at the rest area but tamarack the the store oh. is across the street and that's where all the free rv parking was okay so we drove over there and it was like oh this is perfect Everything was better. Yeah. and we were parked with rvs mm -hmm. vans and you know mm -hmm. fifth wheels and everything mm -hmm. so that was good and yeah. you know Sometimes if you feel like it's not the right place to park, get Act out the on that. Yeah, yeah, get out the map and look at it and just yeah. see. And yeah. a lot of times you'll see an aerial photo and they'll it's taken in the daytime. You'll see actually RVs mm -hmm. and you go, oh, well, that must be where. That's where you can go. Where you go. So that's a good that's a good point to end on to wrap this up. Uh, what's the good apps to use? What, oh, what app should I absolutely have? We really enjoy RV parking. It's a free app. Mm -hmm. And you can put in there um, what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Everything, just Walmart, just Cracker Barrels, just military bases, uh, rest stops and all mm -hmm. that. So RV Parky is a very good app for us for free. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I also use um, uh, military. Let me, let me get that out. It's, if you're a military person, the military uh, campgrounds are wonderful. Okay, so you can stay on mm -hmm. military bases if you're... Uh, current or prior military uh, retired you have to have mm -hmm. an ID card mm -hmm. but we use um, uh, free to free roam mm -hmm. uh, uh, passport America I'm a member of passport America mm -hmm. and then um, harvest host we use that uh, we don't we don't stay at very many harvest hosts but the RV parking is our biggest one mm -hmm. and um, RV parking yeah that's, okay. that's a good one RV parking or oh, RV parking okay yeah. I got it. And I'll get that another point one. about going to Walmart mm -hmm. is you're there to spend the night, um, get in and not stay too terribly long. Mm -hmm. Try not to bring out the lawn chairs or the grill. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> you're not <laughs> camping. camping. You're just yeah. overnighting. Yeah. What yeah, I've seen people say, do not bring those out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what all. I say. Yeah, don't yeah. bring them. I didn't. You said yeah. try. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I, you know, someone real, like me would be like, you know what, hard. I really tried not to, but yeah, well, I know. <laughs> like, I did try though. <laughs> like, if Lola tries to bring it out, say, wait, Lola. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Stop, Lola. <laughs> the funniest one that I have ever seen in a Walmart parking lot. Okay, I've seen some funny stuff, but the funniest one was a guy had a Class C motorhome. Mm -hmm. And when we woke up in the morning, I looked out and I said, I actually made a video on it. It was mm -hmm. like the funniest thing I've ever seen. A guy had a hammock <laughs> on the roof of his class oh C and he was up in this hammock sleeping. It was the funniest. I'd yeah. never seen wow. a, a person. Well, I get, he wasn't down on the ground, so that might be official. Yeah, he that had his be. hammock up on the roof. <laughs> yeah. It was one of them big metal frame hammocks. <laughs> it was Utah, I think, wasn't it? No, Nevada, Ooh. Winnemucca, Nevada. I'm not saying it right, I know. Mm. Sorry, people in Winnemucca. Win Winnemucca, mm. Winnemucca. Yeah, mm. But uh, maybe it was hot that night. And he needed wow. A, but he was up on the, the breeze. Roof. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And, the, and then one other thing is there is the a difference. The view was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> there is a difference between camping and overnighting. Mm -hmm. So a lot of places say no camping. Mm -hmm. And they're referring to putting out chairs, putting out your awning, mm -hmm. and actually camping. Mm -hmm. uh, and overnighting is 
basically, if someone knocks on your door and says you need to leave, all mm -hmm. you have to do is sit in the seat, turn the key, and drive off. Mm -hmm. Your jack stands aren't down if you mm -hmm. have them. Your awning's not out. Nothing. Mm -hmm. You just you're yeah. just parking overnight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're maybe just getting difference. some rest and then you're getting back on the road. And a lot of rest areas allow that. But, okay. But you need to check before okay. you stay. Okay. And RV park, you'll have that. All right, very cool, Dean. You've got some. Yeah, apps? I have a really great app, um, and I call this my en route. Uh, app. Okay. Um, it's called USA Rest Stops. Mm -hmm. So you're en route, you know, maybe it's more about time and you know you're going to be on the interstates or the state roads. So you can bring up any of the interstates and it'll tell you the mile marker. So I say, it's, you know, it's getting close to dark. I want to be off the road. I can stop at mile marker 299, 21 miles. It also gives me the features. There's restrooms, there's dining there. Uh, a lot of times they'll tell you how many parking spaces are available there as well. Mm -hmm. So it's really great if you're on any of the state roads or interstates. And so it kind of gets me to plan my day at the end of the day, especially where I know I'm going to be going, you know, from Amarillo to Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. I know that the next rest stop's in 45 miles. I know rather than waiting for the sign that says rest stop two miles, yeah, and then the next one, yeah, I can kind of plan it yeah. and see what services are available mm -hmm. and how big it is, see a picture. And then you can hit the direction button. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. kind of nice. USA rest stops. USA rest stops. Yeah, it's been okay. pretty handy. Uh, I think, do we have, do we use that one? We do. We, okay, we do. Awesome. So, big, yeah, big thanks cool. here. I don't know if anyone else had anything else to add to this. Uh, um, if you, okay, take care, have. take, um, pick up after your pet. Okay. Yes, very uh, important yeah, always. Big. Yeah, if you're a big pet fancier like me, sometimes I get carried away with him, but I always pick up after him. Yeah. Always keep one of these in your pocket, at least yeah. one. Yeah, so he's uh, always welcome. One yeah. other uh, spot, too, for etiquette, the travel stops. Mm -hmm. uh, also known as, like, Love's Flying J. Right. Same thing, they usually right. divide the truck traffic and car traffic yeah. or vans. Right. But I, I recommend to people, you know, they have a convenience food stop and food. There, again, don't, don't park, especially if you're going to overnight. Yeah, well, you know, that's good. park off to the side. Mm -hmm. Don't take the spots up immediately where people are going in and out. Yeah, for the customers you know, who are just so coming in, getting it's all stuff. etiquette. You kind of learn. Yeah, over time, pretty quickly. Absolutely. All right. Awesome. Big thanks to Camping Coasty, Deb, Spike, Dean. Uh, for the folks out there, it's uh, Coachman Beyond slash CrossFit on Facebook. That's yeah. the group to go to, right? And you find out if you're looking for this stuff. And then I know you have a group. So what's your group? Oh, mine's Class B, RVs, Coachman's, Road Treks, uh, Beyonds, and more. <laughs> so, <laughs> try to remember mouthful. that one. It's a mouthful. <laughs> you'll find it. If you search, you'll see it. Right, but I do have my website. If you go to www.campingcoasty.com, it'll take you right to my YouTube channel. And rvclassb.com takes you to my travel blog. Awesome, yes. And I would like to encourage, if you're not already subscribed to Camping Coasty, then... I don't know, yeah, maybe you're Spike? just getting into... Yeah. Does, does Spike, Spike have his own... Uh... Yeah, Spike has a YouTube channel. <laughs> it's called Spike the Cheagle. C-H-E-A-G-L-E. -E. Okay. Spike the Cheagle. And um, yeah. basically it's where he flies his drone. He has a little drone that he flies. And mm -hmm. uh, since I'm not a licensed <laughs> pilot, Spike does all the flying for me. Okay, there's a setup here. <laughs> there's a setup here. Yeah, so... I made him tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was great meeting you guys. Great Thank being out so here much. at the event. Glad Thank you for here. having for having us here. Into our official videographer. Absolutely. Big Lola. thanks to Lola. Lola. You know, and then Always Sun with a beautiful smile. Absolutely. And Sunshine State RV. We got to shout out Nick. He's feeding us every night out here. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, he's been treating us very well. Yeah, very yeah. nice. You know, bringing the food right to us. I mean, you know, he's yeah. a good dude. So thanks to those guys. We're out of here, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to Camping Coast. Appreciate okay. it. Do you have a YouTube channel? No. No. Okay. So I'm the Facebook is where you're going to find Dean. Yeah. There you go. All right. We're out of here, guys. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>